We have used this time during lockdown to uh, train our staff, retrain them to adhere to the new normal. A lot has changed around here. Uh, the way of our operations have changed uh, due to several factors, mostly due to the coronavirus, but also we, have, we had an incident where we had uh, flooding caused by the increasing water levels on, Ngam, on the lake, which affected Ngamba Island specifically uh, a lot worse than many other places. Our boat now is going to be moving at half capacity. So we are only going to be taking a maximum, maximum of eight people. And that's really a maximum. Ideally about six people on the trip. And that will also depend on the weather. If the weather is calm, eight people. If the weather is not very calm, uh, not more than six people will be allowed to travel on the boat. Uh, and originally we would accept as uh, groups of as large as 50, even if they're coming on different boats. But this time round, because of the need to social distance and the need to adhere to these very, very strict protocols, especially in a case where you are dealing with primates like ours, we have revised that. We, are, we will not be accepting more than 30 guests at any one time. Yeah? Uh, that is to allow social distancing and to allow also our personnel to manage the groups. There is a need for the legal status to change a bit so that government can directly budget for this island. So we are looking at the various options. Either to establish Ngamba both as an NGO but also as a public trust or to have it transition into a statutory body. All those are options that are available that we are discussing. Ngamba Island can be a public trust so that it can directly receive a subvention from government without any legal challenges. So we are discussing this hurdle so that we can get over it so that in Ngamba Island the chimpanzees that are here and the staff can be budgeted for within the mainstream government budgeting framework.